Hi class, another quick Chapter 12 review video. Let's look at what we have in this satellite image. We can see a large comma-shaped cloud pattern over the Pacific Ocean that's moving from west to east. So it's moving from the Pacific Ocean toward California. And what do we know that large comma-shaped cloud pattern is typical of? That's a mid-latitude cyclone. Right, so we have a big mid latitude cyclone over the Pacific moving from the west to the east and hitting California. Um, so let's think about first what would we expect to see going on as far as weather in Monterey, California as this front um, moves inland? Well, we know that there's going to be a warm front that's going to hit, and we know then that the air pressure is going to decrease. So our air pressure is going to be falling as this low pressure system moves in, right? So we have a big low associated with this, with this mid-latitude cyclone. And as that moves in this direction, the air pressure is going to drop in Monterey. Um, these clouds are going to move over over this region too, so we're going to see increasing cloudiness, and we're also going to see increasing winds, and then eventually they're also going to get some increasing precipitation as well. So, and remember the warm front hits first, so here's our warm front with a much wider band of clouds, longer period of light to moderate precipitation, temperatures then will increase. Um, let's see what else we can see on this image. We can see snow here in the Sierra Nevada mountains. As this moist air has moved in across the continent and it hit this mountain range, what happened to it? It gets pushed up, that air cools adiabatically, and we end up with precipitation. So we know that some precipitation has fallen over this region because of that moist air moving in, getting pushed up on the mountain range and causing precipitation at those higher elevations. All right, let me know if you have any questions.